Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. We are still here in Singapore and we are here at this food court looking place. They're called Hawker Centers here in Singapore. Um, so there's a variety of food. So, for example, here you got some Chinese salad. The prices aren't too bad. Let me check out the booths that are still open. I'm not sure if uh, you notice there's a lot of them that are closed. I'm not sure if they're closed because of COVID or if they're closed because it's after seven o'clock in the evening. Some various desserts. We got a Western Delight. I don't know if this is necessarily Western. Maybe the French fries are Western. <laughs> what that looks like. We had a variety of different foods. You can always find something that you like. Some soups for five dollars, four dollars. Always a place to buy drinks. Spinach soup. I ate here earlier, so the, the typical food in, in uh, or the main food, I guess, in Singapore is the boneless chicken rice. I had this earlier, it's pretty good. $4.50, I had a pretty big bowl of, of rice and chicken, and it was pretty tasty. So, again, these are Singapore prices I'm quoting. So when you're done eating, you have to actually return your tray here. Um, they say they will find you if you don't. I don't know if that's true or you know, they're just trying to scare people or whatnot. So. Over here, we got some more stuff. So we got some more desserts. I don't pretend to know what all this stuff is, so that's why I'm kind of stopping and letting you see. You guys probably don't know more about this than I do. Pig organ soup. Some Indonesian cuisine. A lot of people don't realize Indonesia is really close to Singapore. You can take a ferry and be in Singapore, excuse me, be in Indonesia in an hour. So, um, we're really close. So, so Singapore is kind of smack in between. Um, Malaysia to the north and then Indonesia to the south. So you see, you see with a lot of the Singapore food, you see Malaysian influence and you see some uh, Indonesian influence. Another dessert place. Got some spring rolls, homemade. Again, you guys can pause and, and uh, look at what they have to serve.
This is a place I also ate at earlier. Hong Kong soy sauce chicken, rice, and noodles. I had some of the noodles and it was pretty good. Looks like we got some duck rice. Duck rice. Prices are pretty reasonable. Three bucks, Singapore. That's uh, less than three bucks US. There's a lot of cheap food here. So this is the place to go. You know, Singapore is known as a as an expensive place, but the food is one of the few bargains. As long as you stay away from Western food. I went to Five Guys Burgers and Fries from the States earlier. They have one here in Singapore. I paid almost 20 bucks for a cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, fries, and a drink, so. Uh, yeah, a little much, but it was worth it. This place seems to be popular. Wonton noodles, there's a couple of these moves here. I would imagine during lunchtime, these places are a lot busier. There are a lot of offices around here. Uh, it is evening, so I'm hoping that's why some of these businesses are closed. I'm hoping they're not COVID casualties. We got some intestines here. Not my thing, but maybe it's your thing. So yeah, they have these hawker centers all over the city. So if you come to Singapore, yes, you'll be paying a lot for accommodations. But if you want cheap food, you just come down to one of these places. Got some puzzle food. Yeah, I would say less than half of these are actually open. So, like I said, I hope they're not COVID casualties. So in the next video, we're going to go down to this uh, night market and check out what they have. So take care, you guys. Um, I will see you on the next episode of Asia Unscripted. You guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you next time.